welcome back to DS Trucks. Today, we got quite the project ahead of us. We need to fix the snow plow. So I got the truck disconnected from the snow plow right now. And this is kind of an ongoing thing now with the channel, snow plow problems. So what's happening now is this wiring that was sold to me by this company is no longer working. The headlights are not working. So what's been going on is the relay for the headlights has been having issues and it looks like they're overheated. Now, these relays that came with whatever junk they sold me, it's very different from the ones that came with the correct kit, supposedly the correct kit. They're a lot smaller. So these are the relays on the new kit that they sent. These are much bigger. I don't know if that's why, but for whatever reason, when the headlights barely work already when they're on after a, like a couple of hours of plowing snow the headlights just turn off and it just leaves me with no headlights it's terrible so i've got to get this fixed i've got no choice now i really want the truck fixed i'm going to attempt to remove the harness and install the correct harness so we'll see what happens hopefully there's no damage to this module because i don't know what's going on with this with this whole thing it's, it's all messed up but anyway i'm going to go ahead and get the wrong wire harness removed if you follow the channel you know what i mean i'll link the video where we installed everything just to find out that the parts were wrong but let me get everything taken apart i gotta take off the grill i gotta take out the headlights i gotta take off this top cover i gotta do a lot of stuff in order to get this old kit removed and i want to really put them side by side and see how different they are but anyway let me get started and I'll check back in once I get some things removed. All right, guys. So I was able to get the headlights out. I got the top cover off. Nothing was really too difficult to do uh, for the headlights. There is a side bolt that I had to take off the actual fender flare in order to get a 13 mil in there. But nonetheless, it is coming along. I will touch base. I got to get this other headlight out and you can see the wiring uh, where there's a quick repair to get the original wiring put back together but it shouldn't be too big a deal anyway let me uh, get this going and i'll see you guys at the next scene all right guys so it is the next day i did end up getting the headlights out and everything overnight i put the headlights back in because i wanted to confirm that they worked i did do all the wiring for the headlights and everything so that's all set but guys i did rig this up to try to keep me warm it's pretty much just uh some canvas uh tarps that are just clipped up here to keep some of the cold air out i've got my heaters going uh you know so that's helping out a little bit it's nice in here it's toasty nothing to worry about as far as cold and the elements because it's pretty cold outside but i did get the headlights rewired so that all that stuff's back to oem let's uh take a look at the uh keys here to make sure that they're working now the headlights aren't bolted in but i do want to show you guys something with these so as you see the c rings are working and all that good stuff so no issues there but let me go ahead and set this camera down and show you how you actually take these headlights out because it's not quite as uh, simple as it may look anyway let's see uh, how to swing these headlights out of here all right guys so i think there's only one good way to actually finesse these headlights out of here and if you look up over here there's this little gray screw i don't know if you can see that but there's this little gray screw i'll show you once the headlights out there's a there's a clip here up top that you need to be aware of once you've gotten all the fasteners loose there's uh two fasteners up top and i think like one here and then there's one on the side if you got a 450 you got to take off this trim here in order to get the uh get a 13 mil in there with the 450 you've got to take off this trim or the 13 mil won't fit in there but also once you get everything unbolted there's a finesse that you have to know in order to get it out now it's not just going to slide out of here nicely like you would think you kind of got to know which route to take it and that is kind of pushing down and it's going to want to bind up on you so i like to go in 
down a little bit. Now, once it's down, it just kind of swings forward and this sweeps through just like that. Just gently, not scratching any paint or anything, not binding up at all or anything like that. It's really a finesse. So let me get in a little closer. So if you ever want to take out your headlights, this might hang you up because these headlights don't just slide out of here, guys. They need a little bit of love to come out nice and go in nicely. Like I said, you just kind of work it a little bit down a little bit, but you just watch this so that metal doesn't hit the paint and you swing it ever so slightly forward. And voila, it's out. Now you can watch your fender. Now you get to here and you still got to watch out because you've got to kind of turn it a little bit so that there's a clip on the other side that you don't want to get caught on the fender. So once you do this, get it to this far, you can unplug it. Work it out. Boom. So this clip, you got to watch out for this clip. It's on the fender side. So you kind of got to work it out so that clip doesn't get in the way. So I'll take the other side off and um, set this one down to the safe place where it won't get scratched. And I'll take this other side off too and let you guys see that side as well. So here we are. Like I said, you got to have the right finesse. Lift up your tab here. Watch out for your screw. You got to work it. Take it in. It's all about the finesse. And watch that screw. I'd like to think of it as this, this screw kind of then you gotta work it bottom up. Don't want to force nothing. There we go. So swinging it this way and out. So a little bit of finesse. I'll show you guys the wiring that I did inside of here for these headlights to work like they did before this whole fiasco. But yeah, headlights are out. All right, guys, so here is a look of the wiring that I've done. I didn't film it because I was really trying to get after it and get it done, but these are the two wires that needed to be reconnected and essentially I used the solder shrink crimps that I had. I've had a lot of success with those. I had to insert a little bit of wiring to make them as long as the current wires so that they're not shorter. And so inside of there, if you look real close, you can see a little bit of uh, red because there's a red wire that's about this long that got inserted into the circuit so that it would I can maintain the length and I'm going to wrap all this up back in the conduit and it will look pretty good, I think. But anyway, let me get that wrapped up and I'll show you uh, how it turned out. All right, guys, and this is how it looks with the plastic covering on it. I did end up getting a slightly larger plastic covering to put on it because the wiring got a little bit heavier. And this is the size that I did. It's just a little one size bigger and that is now covering it i'm going to wrap that in tape a little bit just like how it is oem and that's going to be our headlight plug so yeah anyway see you guys at the next scene all right guys and there's the final product covered in convolute and wrapped in tape this is cold weather electrical tape which is a really good rating for cold and, a, oh, and, a, and just the same rating for heat. I'm almost out, but good stuff. Anyway, see you guys at the next scene. All right, guys. So this is where we are. We have made progress. Now, the power wire had to get moved from the driver's side over to the passenger side. It's not connected yet because there is no battery. I did have to take out the fender liner as the instruction said, 
the isolation module is glued down with Velcro. You can see underneath there's Velcro, which just didn't stick. So I gotta make sure I give that enough time to stick in here. The, the Velcro is stronger than the tape. So there you go, there you have it. Uh, hopefully that when the engine gets warm, that sticks a little better, we'll see. I did actually warm these up, but the idea that that's gonna actually Velcro, the Velcro seems more aggressive than, a, than, than the tape. Anyway, we'll see how that goes. It's looking underneath the fender here. Like I say, the fender liner did have to come out and everything is tied up in here. Uh, this is where we actually interface with the headlights. There's one plug there and it goes to the headlights right there. That's where the headlights actually connect. And then the plow kind of touches, touch, splices in right here. And the rest of our wiring is gonna be here underneath the fender liner, zip tied up. We got some relay boxes in there. They're way back in there, tied to the frame right there. You can see that's not a whole lot of light, but uh, everything's up in here. The fender liner is gonna go and kind of just push the rest of this up. Wires connected to other wires, connected to other wires, but double checked all my connections. Got my dielectric grease. Dielectric grease on all connections. So I'm just doing the due diligence the best I can, to try to get this right. I gotta put the headlights in, the grill, the fender liner, the battery, and I'll be ready to see what's up. Anyway, see you guys at the next scene. All right, guys, so we are now done. I hooked up the plow, I tested everything. Everything is working great. The headlight issue is corrected. Happy that it worked. I wasn't sure if it was gonna uh, because the, the headlights were like not functioning properly at all when I decided to finally break down and put on the right parts the headlights were totally out I don't know what they sold me and that is really what's disheartening about this whole situation because this is so different this is so different from what I'm supposed to have so I'm lucky that nothing else broke all the relays on this setup are so much smaller compared to the relays that came with the correct parts and it was just overwhelming a lot of the parts so the front headlights are back to OEM and they are working everything went good as far as the headlight repair uh, that shouldn't be any issues uh, I had to move everything the module for the snow plow was on the right now it's on the left everything had to get hooked up to the well was on the the module was on the left this is the trucks left my right right now because I'm facing well the module was on the trucks left and now it's on the trucks right and I had to move all of the wiring and have it come out of the right side and the right battery and then the controller wire has to go across the whole top of the truck which is running right there there's your controller wire going across the top and I just had to pull that into the engine bay a little bit more to get a little bit more slack. Uh, here is a set of relays and look how much bigger these relays are. These are zip tied right here. If you look a little further, the module is down in there and it is Velcroed and glued down. The glue is a little questionable, but we'll see if it kind of sticks a little better once the engine gets going. But either way, it's in a very secure little spot. Here's a little thing with relays in it hopefully it never needs any attention ground wire for the plow is right there and it goes down next to the battery the power wire for the plow is right here along with the relay um, I had to make holes in the side of the plastic because they had to come out of the side and not out of the front and the rear how it was in hindsight I could have used this rear one but either way it looks all right I'll probably cover this up with something cover that hole up that's extra with something but overall it wasn't you know it wasn't that bad of a job but yeah it is done it is finally 
done. And yeah, wasn't, I mean, it wasn't that bad. If I had to do it again, it'd be a lot quicker. But being that I've never really done it, made it hard, but it really wasn't that bad. Uh, it's just one of those things. I'm glad I got through. It took all day, but I made it. But anyway, this is DS Trucks. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Over and out.